Fuxes, Frithgar, hey, how you doing? As you can see, the Seasons mod really does adjust the day length. It is 10 to 7. Now, in the standard game, it would be pretty much broad daylight by now, but it's still lights on and rather dull around here with the sun only just coming up. So, we are ploughing this field here, and it does look like, if you have a look over here, um, let me just leap out of the tractor a second and come over to this bit here. You have a look at the way that the, the ground has sort of been shaped here. I think we've got multi-angle terrain on here. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, multi-angle terrain is where, in a standard game, if you set the hired help going, you will either go in a straight line across the field or you go in a diagonal line. And essentially, you can point the hired help in any one of eight directions, and that is the direction he'll go, or he will snap to one of those eight directions. So that's eight angle terrain. I think it's called eight angle terrain. Um, it might be four, just you, know, you can do um, the different directions on each one, but I think it's eight. This multi angle means that you can set it going in just about any direction, and it will operate like that. Um, so we're going to test it out in a minute with another one. Before I go any further, my weekly... Oh, look at the wheel spin on that plow. That is fan schmastic. That is brilliant. Look at that. That is so cool. That is really cool. I love that. I don't know if the Seasons mod is actually affecting the ground response thing as well um, and sort of adding into it, or if it's just the way that the, um, the ground response is... Uh, working with the map or what but I, I don't know but he's genuinely wheel spinning there a bit to pull this plow along which is absolutely fantastic that is awesome anyway my weekly question for this week we'll take a look at the cows in just a minute um i am going to be buying more land now do you want me to concentrate on buying fields around the middle all these little tiny fields we could possibly blend a few of them in together to make some bigger fields or we could just work them as smaller fields as they are i don't really know yet or would you like me to buy a few of the big fields um maybe a few down in this corner or possibly over here i'm not going to spread them out too much i'm going to keep the ones in the central location on the map and then we'll either sort of we'll just work on ones in this corner down here or over here i don't think we'll go up to the north just yet maybe later on in the series we'll see how things run um so yeah we'll still use lots of different tractors but it's whether you want me to work lots of different fields or just work some big fields um i think really uh, we've done a lot of working of big fields oh we've blocked uh, we've we have done a lot of working of big fields um so Personally, I think it might work out quite well if we could do uh, quite a few small fields. But obviously, it's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Now, if I've got the multi-angle thing correct, my little theory on here, if I set it going that wise, like that, it should now go at a slightly different angle to what it was just now. Um, and we should see it. Or is it just going to... No, it's not. Oh. If we did it manually, it didn't. It corrected itself. So that actually... Some ways, multi-angle is really good when the hired help sort of does it for you and it snaps to the new angle of the terrain. But in other ways, it's actually better like this. Because then the hired help, you, you know that it's going to sort of go in set lines. But you get a different pattern if you do it manually. You de we definitely got multi-angle um, when it comes up on the on the ground there. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get back over to the farm now. We've got another tractor to set going. The Zeta is already running. Um, we're going to get the new Holland ploughing, and then we can take a look at the cows. Our house is just in there, and the cows are just down over there, the other side of those buildings, along the fence there. Um, and we've got this field here that we want to plough up. So I'm going to set the hired help going in this field. By the look, I'm going to do one line along the edge. I actually want the plough to go the face the other way. This one I've put the weight that was on the Deutz onto this tractor so that we could have the barrel weight on the Deutz. I thought it would look better if it was on that one. I'm going to do one pass along this edge manually. And then I'm going to put the hired help going. And this is so that you can see the way that the multi-angle thing is working um because i am absolutely certain that it does actually do this i'm sure of it let me just come up through here we'll stop just in front of it here and then we'll turn around and 
we'll set the hired help going. So that one, we'll go a little bit further, just up to the rock. There we go. And if I go back, well, you can see there, just where we've turned ever so slightly, the, the way that the furrows are sort of drifted a little bit. That is the multi-angle terrain. And it's very deep as well. It's definitely different to the normal game. So if I press H, oh no, 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 I don't want the AI vehicle extension on this, do I? I want like that, and I want to turn that off, because it didn't seem to work very well. So if we just have it on standard hired help, that one will go. And you have a look there, you can now see the way that those furrows are working. Um, it's definitely got multi-angles on the, the way that you look at it, even if the hired help itself, I don't know, maybe... Um, you can't have the hired help sort of using the multi-angle thing anymore. I know that you could in FS15, but I haven't played a map where I've seen it in FS17 yet. So maybe that has just changed slightly. Um, it could have. I, I don't know. It's, I, I don't actually know everything there is to know about this game. This may come as a complete and total shock to you because um, obviously I am wise and all-knowing. Um, and so it, it's rare that there would be things. That I've, okay, okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> um... Right, we've got a load of crops here that we are going to have to look at selling at some point. We have a cultivator there. We're going to need more cultivators so that we can get things cultivated. We have a load of grass piled up along here. Now, in winter, it would appear that there is actually a way to get your cows a little bit of grass. So if we just come up through um, here, at the moment we got zero grass. We had 10,000 litres of milk at midnight that we sold, and we made a little bit of money. Helper G is blocked by an object. Which one is Helper G? Uh just go back down through we've got f over here oh that's got to be him over there on 86 we'll sort that one out in a minute he's going to be a bit of a nuisance i think because there's a lot of um different problems uh that pro oh that was brilliant i'm sure i looked at this last time but that yes the blue smoke i love i love the blue smoke i genuinely love the blue smoke anyway i have found a use for our vitamins not only do we take our vitamins first thing in the morning, but we can use our vitamin here to help with the cows. And we've got the little um, manure fork on here. And all I do is I lower that one down and I run straight up along the cows, filling up the grab as we go. Almost full. There we go. That's completely full. So that takes 750 litres. And I just come back a little bit. Come up through. It's amazing that you can generate grass from nothing. Um, there's one, whoa, there's one thing that the Seasons mod hasn't done. It hasn't changed it into hay or silage that you generate from outside. So let's just tip that off there. That goes into the feeding trough right there. They now have a little bit of grass at 7%. I mean, we've only got 100 cows. Oop. I'm actually doing this with the mouse instead of um, the joystick. Uh, not for because anything's broken or anything like that. It's just that I've got the mouse in my hand. I just thought it would be easier because it's quite a small one. Helper F is now blocked by an object. This ploughing is going to be quite difficult to keep everybody running and smooth, I think. Um, so let's just tip that in there. You've got to come back a little bit. You can go just over the barrier. So, yeah, there we go. We've got our vitamin, and he can be used to clean the cows, which means that... I'm, I'm actually quite pleased about this because I was kind of thinking that we didn't really want to have another Laylee Juno because that seems to be like the default go-to option for cleaning your animals, Laylee Junos, and you put them everywhere. They're really, really simple. It's a fantastic mod. I really do love that mod, but it's nice to be able to do something a little bit different. So I will go and sort out these people doing the plowing. Um, let's just check our animals a second. Uh, yeah, we got field 77 and 86, and B is nearly finished, so we want to get a cultivator up there in a minute. Um, we've got a little tiny bit of grass. That's put our productivity up to 100%. And things are looking good with the cows. Now, we do have to keep a close eye on this because I think we only get three days worth of food in here. And we have, uh, it's on 12 days. And at the moment, the ground is still at 4 degrees C. The air temperature is 1 degrees C at the moment. We can't do any planting yet, but we can do the cultivating. And then we just kind of need to hang around and wait. So I will sort the ploughs out, and then we can go and have a look at the Zeta, tidy up that field, and get started on the cultivating. Alright, so it does appear that maybe the multi-angle terrain thing is a feature with the hide help, because that is definitely going at a different angle to what I said it going to just now. Um, which is going to prove interesting when we come to do all of these fields. We've got so many objects in the middle of these fields that we own already. It is going to be interesting 
keeping them all going. It would be nice to buy some other fields that don't have telegraph poles in the middle. Maybe we'll look around there for some others. We've got a grass field there that we can mow. But yeah, that's, it definitely does put different angles because um, you look at that. It does mean that we'll have to tidy it up a bit. It also means I think what we'll do is we won't worry about the little spots left in the middle of the fields. We'll um, instead just cultivate over those little bits. But anyway, I'll go and get the doit sorted out as well and then we can see about cultivating. Oh, he's just finished now, actually. Help B has completed their task. That is the Zeta Crystal on our little Massey Ferguson plough. Right, we just use the plough here and tidy up the edge of the field. And when you're ploughing, you always do the headlands last, whereas most other jobs, you do the headlands first. Now, I have said this before. Um, some people actually do it the other way around. There are people out there who will... Um, seed and cultivate land work first and then work the headland last but i think those people are um less common than people that do it this way around now obviously with plowing is a little bit different but i don't i've never heard of anybody that plows the headland first and then goes back and does the um does the land work um but as for all other jobs i don't actually know of personally anyone that would ever do the um, the headland first, uh, sorry, do the land work first on something like cultivating or sowing or anything like that, and then go through and do the do the headlands at the very end. Um, you would normally go into the field and just start the headlands and you work the way into the middle because then you can sort of see what you've been doing and um, it's easier to like get everything lined up, especially when you're um, trying to like plan out the distances for doing the land work and stuff. Um, anyway, none of that particularly matters, I don't think. If we come up this end, we got one pass to do along here. I don't actually think we've got to do very much. Now, we could just use the cultivator we got in the shed with this tractor, but I don't think we will. I think we'll use that one on one of the other tractors. And this one will buy a new cultivator. Or, actually, we could have a look at the um, the one that's available for the Massey Ferguson uh, pack. The one by Black Sheep Modding that we got this plough from. Um, we can just see what is available there. Now, that little spot in the middle, is that actually just a spot of the field that can't be ploughed? If it is, if we just switch on plough anywhere, we can just plough that, um, that bit under as well, just to make it a bit easier. Yes, it is. So if we go back here and allow create fields, there. Create that bit into a field, and if I whiz over to this side and we'll do the same on this little spot over here that will be this field done we can cultivate it i would like to buy some more i think we'll we'll what we'll do is we'll see how we're doing when we've that was just a bit that we missed um right the dealership is right over there somewhere he says dealership's there isn't it i'm sure i'm looking at no the dealership is there i don't know it's there it's right there. It's that one in front of us. There is the dealership right there. But we can't go across that field because we don't own it. So I would like to actually find the correct way in and out of the pig's house. Um, I suspect we've got to... Uh, it's that road over there. So we've got to go up here into the pig farm. And then we can go up through. I think that we could use the pond there to get water. Uh, which is an excellent start. We're not going to get pigs yet anyway. We're going to wait a little while before we get pigs. I don't know yet if I'm going to get sheep or pigs first. Probably I'll go for pigs this time because we've got a load of sheep on Rattlesnake Valley. Um, we've got sheep in Watea Valley as well. Um, so I think we'll go back to doing some pigs. We did pigs in um, the time lapse on Goldcrest, but we haven't done pigs elsewhere. So I think it would be nice to do some pigs. We've got gates here. Right, we'll... We'll leave these gates open because we're going to be coming in and out of them. Um, let me just leap out of the tractor a minute and open these two up. Jump into our Zeta. Right, I will meet you now back at the dealership. Now that we've finally found our way in and out. And should we con Ooh, just get onto the correct side of the road? I'm wondering if we should consider buying a couple of these small fields here near the pigs. Or if I should wait... Actually, I think I'm going to wait. I'll wait until I find out the results of your vote. And we'll see next week whether we buy any. We can get started on cultivating. We can't start planting yet because the ground isn't warm enough. We need to warm the ground up a bit. We're going to plant at least two separate crops. We might plant three crops depending on how many fields I buy. Uh, but we'll see. 
There's a back door here for the uh, dealership. You just drive almost in a straight line from the road that comes out from the pigs and you come into the back entrance. Uh, I'm going to need to take this plough back to the main farm. I don't think I'll leave this one at the pigs. So I will go and drop the plough off at our main yard. Then I will come back here again so that we can pick up a cultivator. This tractor is a very slow tractor. I'm questioning the wisdom of running the plough back up to the other farm. I think perhaps I should have just left it at the pig farm. Um, and we could get another couple of fields over there to um, sort of have a collection of um, machines at the different places. Might be a better way to do it, I think, in future. Right, anyway, we have got one of those right there. Um, but what we want to look at, I don't think the Zeta is going to be able to pull the 24 meter flexi coil. Might not necessarily be the best one to bring into this map, I don't think. Um, so we've got all sorts of different cultivators. I got loads of them. We've got a cockerling here. Um, and that one requires 100 horsepower. An agromet, 220 horsepower. We've got a little one here for the massive focus. That's a 5 meter wide one. Um, that might actually be the one to have, I think. We'll go for that one. Yeah. Requires 88 horsepower. Anno, 1970. Um, prepares the field for the next sowing. So that is part of the old Massey Ferguson pack, which would actually fit quite nicely because it would sort of go alongside that small plow that we used on the Zeta as well. Um, so if we get that one and we'll race it over to the pig farm. We just... Oh, there it is. I, I imagine we can probably fold it up. I, don't, I can't imagine that we wouldn't be able to fold it up. Yeah, it does. It, it's got rams on it. So let's just back up here and hit you on. Right, and fold up. That is a nice little cultivator, that is. I like that one. That is, there's something sort of appealing about it. It's small, compact, um, but it will definitely do the job. It's a decent um, springtime cultivator there. And... The springtime cultivators, I feel, are really good. And uh, some people don't think that they're the greatest, but I think that they're, um, they've definitely got something going for them. Right. The lights on our Zeta are fairly weak, and it's getting quite cloudy now. Anyway, we'll get into the field, and then we can make a start. Well, that didn't uh, go all that well for the toys there. Um, I'm guessing the hired help did try to turn around and do something sensible, but it didn't quite work out. Um... What they've done is they've worked around that tree up there, so they've ploughed on the top side of it, but they haven't ploughed on this lower end down here. Uh, I think I'll actually put it going from here, but the problem is it's going to do the same again on the bank, isn't it? It's going to try and tip itself over. This field, I suspect, is going to start causing us some problems. This field is definitely going to cause us problems. Um, something that I'll work with, though. I'll, I'll figure something out. Let me get it, I'll get it set up and going, and then I can get over to that Zeta again. Right, here we go. We are going to be working in a very dreary environment today. Um, oh, I know what we can do. Let me just unfold it a minute. I like that it unfolds nice and quick. It's, it's, it feels very efficient when it unfolds like that. What I would like to do a minute is see how the hired help responds to having the cultivator on the back, on a, a rigid point rather than trailed. It might work, it might not. Let's see. Field detection, half a hectare. So it's not not the biggest field. Zeta is really going to struggle with this, isn't it? This is like the smallest cultivator, though. Um, right, it, it's... <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Genuinely struggling to dig that one into the ground there. Uh, where are you going? You're not supposed to be heading off out to the side like that. Seriously, where are you going? Are you trying to drive into the pond? Whoa! Okay, he's definitely trying to drive into the pond there. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. If we take a look... Oh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, right, so maybe if we just go for standard hired help rather than trying to do that again. Uh, let me go here like this and go standard hide help turn that one off and press H there we go right lower that one down now you can carry on and it's going to be a struggle for the Zeta to pull that cultivator so it may be that that particular cultivator is too big so let's just take a quick look in the shop and see what else we've got this one here requires 100 horsepower um, 220 110 
140, 100, 60 horsepower. Right, that's a bit better, so maybe we'll have to go for that one. Um, these are all bigger cultivators. What about that little one there? Nope, that one's no good. That one's 100, 110. I've got nothing that's designed for really small tractors, have I? That's something that we're going to have to do. I think we're going to have to look at that for this series because... Right, that's 120, that's 90. We are going to... Uh, this is something that I'm going to have to um, do some work on because what the... We're going to need smaller cultivators because this tractor is struggling to pull it. This tractor is like 80 horsepower, isn't it? Um, and because it's struggling to pull it, it means that it's really, really inefficient. Right, have a look at that one. That one is it's a 120 horsepower tractor. It should be able to pull because this one requires 88 horsepower. So maybe it's not the cultivator. Either way, th there's something causing it to spin like this. I suspect that it's something to do with seasons coupled with the ground response mod. Um, I do like the fact that it is spinning in the ground. It, it does add a certain sense of realism to it, although it feels a little bit overdone because this cultivator, this tractor at over 80 horsepower shouldn't have any trouble cult uh, pulling this particular cultivator. There's, there's no reason in real life that it would struggle to pull it, <laughs> but it's definitely struggling to pull it in the game. That is definitely a major struggle right there. Absolutely brilliant though. This is absolutely... I, I do like this. Um, I wonder what the other tractors are going to be like. We won't get another one of those. <laughs> God, you can do it! Go, little tractor! Go! It's like playing spin tyres all over again. Come on, you can do this! I didn't actually try a tractor on spin tyres yet. I will do that at some point. And you straight back it. Things are not going well for us here, are they? Maybe if we do one pass across the top of the field first. Um... I'll do this manually. I'll, I'll do this myself. We'll see how we cope with it. Um, we're really not going to cope well, are we? This is... <laughs> okay, if anybody actually knows why we're struggling this badly, is it is it the Seasons mod? I think it's the Seasons mod, but like I said, I don't actually know. Um, he's, he's really struggling to get up the hill. If I go up this end and try going back down, maybe that'll do it. Um, I mean, it could be the ground response. This, that is, um, I, I think it's sort of supposed to be what the ground response kind of does. It might even be the Zeta itself. I know that the other tractors are spinning a bit. Um, so, it, yeah, again, it, it might not be. They're, they're definitely spinning when they're doing the ploughing. Both the New Holland and the Deutz, we've seen both of them spinning quite hard when doing the ploughing. Um, so, so maybe it's the map. Maybe the map is um, sort of got this in the soil, so we're going to need more powerful tractors or some more powerful something so that we can sort of deal with this. I was thinking that we'd be using like really cheap small tractors, but unless I can find um, much smaller cultivators, just the width, of the, literally the width of the tractor that require a lower horsepower, um, I don't think we're going to be doing very much very quickly. Not like this. Look at that. Okay, let's lift that one up. We've done one line across the field there. It was a struggle, but we did do it. So we can at least say that we've accomplished something today. Come on a little bit further. I would like to actually just get fast forward the time a little bit because I don't want to do everything in this um, sort of dreary light. So we'll, um, we'll jump forward a little bit, I think, and see if it's going to sort of improve the quality of the light a little bit later on today. It's a lot sunnier now. The other two ploughs are still working away in the fields, although I'm going to have to do quite a bit of work to help them out. This one is genuinely struggling with his cultivator. I think we're just going to sort of leave it running and let him take his time over it because he's definitely going to take a while to finish his field. And I'm going to have to do a bit of work to tidy it up. Um, but yeah, we, we, we'll worry about that later on. But we're at seven degrees now on the clouds. Now, well, there was one thing I wanted to look at. You've got Alt S and you go here. So, oh, right, we've got the red line. That tells us where we are in a season. Um, 1 to 4, 5 to 8, 9 to 12. Right, I see. So we can, we've, it's now adjusted. Um, but we still, yeah. There was something else. I wanted to see the, the weather forecast and I don't remember how to do it. I think it was Alt N or something like that. There's a Alt and another button and it will show you the actual weather forecast. Uh, oh, there we go. Right, left Alt and F to see the weather forecast. So we go like this. There! Oh, I see! It shows us everything! Right! So, it's going to be raining tomorrow. Um, 
And then Thursday, it's going to be... What are the numbers underneath? 7053104185. I don't know what those numbers represent. I've got no idea what they represent. Um, Thursday is cloudy. Friday is raining. Saturday is... And Sunday is sunny. And then we got cloud and rain again. Okay, if anybody can tell me what the numbers mean underneath, I'd be really grateful about that. I've got a feeling that might actually be temperatures and predicted temperatures of the soil. Or something like that, maybe? Um, it's about the only thing that I can think of for it. I can't really think that there'd be anything else there. We need the temperature of the soil to come up by one more degree before we can actually start doing our um, um, sowing. Maybe we can start sowing our seeds. But I'm going to go and see one of the ploughs a minute. Right, we have got... This field is almost done. However, because of the <laughs> poles and stuff in the middle of the field, it's left quite a few big bits. Um, which means that we're going to have to go back and sort of tidy those up, plus tidying up the edges of the field, before we can even think about starting the cultivating on this field. Um, and this is what I was kind of looking forward to with the big management thing, because um, I'm going to... Right, are you happy with me to flick between all the machines like this? So, yeah, we can go and see Zeta working in this field and see how he's getting on, and we can run up through. Right, we can check on the Deutz up in this field, all the way down in this field, I should say. He's right down the bottom there in field 86. Um... And then we can flick back up through to the New Holland that's ploughing here right next to the cattle. Um, and kind of what I was hoping to accomplish with the map is that we're kind of doing a management thing. Are you happy for me to be flicking through the vehicles like that? Or would you rather I kept it to off screen to change between the vehicles? Um, because I'm thinking that if we do get a, a lot more fields, um, we, we could have like another five or six tractors running all at once. Um great fun doing it it could be really interesting running all of these different tractors and machines all at the same time um but it is gonna i would say it'd be better if we could just um sort of flick between them but obviously i don't want to do that if you think it's really gonna spoil the quality of the video and spoil the like the immersion of this particular series because i I'm, i really want this series to be the best one that i have ever done i'm i'm quite sort of keen for it to be the one that you think is the best series I've ever done. I love this seasons thing. The more I find out about it, the more depth there appears to be to it, the more I'm really getting drawn into this whole seasons thing and I'm definitely going to be using it on a time lapse of probably the next time lapse that I do, which would be on Sandy Bay. I don't want to use seasons mod on my current time lapse on Rattlesnake Valley. Um, I got enough issues on Rattlesnake Valley with um, like the various bugs that the big four times maps have got. Um, and yeah, so I, I don't really want to add further complications to that one. I think we'll add complications to a different map. Um, but yeah, that, that, that bit aside. Um, yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. So hopefully next week we'll be able to finish the ploughing and the cultivating. We'll probably do that in our first episode. Um, I might even finish all ploughing and cultivating before the next episode. I'll see what fields you want me to buy. Um, so we might do another episode of ploughing and cultivating. And then we can start sp uh, sowing some seeds um, in our other episode for next week. Um, so long as the ground has warmed up enough. Now, we are only on day two. We've got 12 days per season. So we're going to have to keep a, a close eye on the cattle as well. We don't want them running out of food because I think it's only three days worth of food that you can give them. Um, if you have a look here, that is already down to half because we're halfway through the day. So I'm going to have to do another um, thing of food for them so that I can keep the cows going. Uh, might do that later on in between episodes as well. We'll have to see. Anyway, my question for this week is do you want me to buy a whole load of small fields in the middle of the map? Or do you want me to concentrate on buying a couple of big fields out on the edge of the map over here so that we can um, have several tractors all working in the same field? Um, I mean, personally, I don't actually mind which one you go for because... The, the big fields will have several tractors in the same field. Um, the small fields will have a tractor on each field. Uh, well, not each field, but you know, we'll have multiple tractors working in multiple fields. And we go between them. I think it, either one, I think, could prove quite interesting. We'll see how it kind of works out. What different vehicles we can get going on the different um, projects in that. Um, but it's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Um, just to clarify... It'll almost certainly be these fields down here. I might try to get all four of them. I don't know yet. Um, and if I'm going for the small fields, I've got 
this the cows here seems to be our sort of main location at the moment but we head up to the shop up this way so i'll probably buy a couple of these fields here um 76 and 78 but then i'll start buying fields heading in this direction up towards the pig so that we own a sort of a section in the middle here of a, a collection of fields maybe we'll do a few jobs on them as well we'll see who owns what um and get a, a, a few reductions on them in prices i think that could be um quite beneficial to us and it will enable us to sort of see various different machines in that but also um with doing jobs we do get to see the various different machines available to us and because it's such small fields it's not going to like spoil any of the the video is not going to produce a really dull video while you wait for me to finish a job because the job will be finished almost before we start it unless we're doing plowing like this in which case that is really going to struggle i'm sure this has got to be the seasons this has got to be something added with seasons to make it spin like this got to be um i kind of hope it is because that means that there's going to be all sorts of other challenges presented to us as well we'll have, we'll have to wait and see anyway if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.